Okay, so basically today I'm going to go through uh, how we are planning on designing the wind turbine blades for our EG ESD uh, project. Um, ePower is considering using the software Inventor Fusion 2013, uh, developed by Auto Autodesk. Uh, so we'll just open that up. Now, hopefully, it will come up. Um, it's brilliant software. Um, we're considering doing it in 3D. Um, today, we went to the lecture on um, how to design. I mean, how to design the blades, um, directed by Gavin Vasquez, and uh, he went through a program called. Uh, he went through a program uh, by the name FreeCAD, Free AutoCAD, or something like that. And uh, he demonstrated how he would, how how, how we would be able to uh, at least um, design a 2D model of the blade. So what he did was he 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 basically uh, he he drew out a rectangle rectangular kind of shape, put in a hole on the top top center um, to to show us how we uh, how the um, how the wind turbine blade would go into the uh, well into the wind turbine peak itself. So uh, here we go. Let's let's go through it using Inventor Fusion. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is trying to emulate what he did, uh, except I'll do it in 3D uh, and let you guys have an idea of how we're going to develop further uh, from that. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to draw a square, a uh, rectangle, sorry. Uh, center. And let's give it these dimensions. I'm just doing a test, test, uh, test run. So yeah, this should be fine. Um, and now what we will do is we will try to take a look at this object from a head, heads, heads up view. So, where are you? Ah, here we go. Uh, so, let's rotate this, this, nope, this way, this way, that way, nope, I like it like this. So we can take a look at it here. And what we want to do is we will draw a circle to show the position of um, where the wind turbine itself will plug into this fan, this blade. So here we go. Just gonna make a circle here. And uh, yeah, we put up our circle there. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna extrude this shape, extrude this shape up so that we have an empty circle here. Uh, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and I'm going to delete it. Now when we extrude it, you'll see that there's a hollow section over here. I don't know if you can see it. So let's see, it's going to be about, uh, we want it to be um, let's let's decide on three millimeters. I know it's got to be a little thinner than that because when we want to do the three D printing, it's um, the three D printing machine's not going to be able to handle um, a height of three centimeters. So I mean, for the point of demonstrating what we're doing, I'll just choose a height like. Uh, 5.7, yeah, whatever. And now you can see that um, we've got this shape that uh, Gavin Baskis was talking about um, in his lecture. Uh, he he then used this shape and printed it with a 3D printer, and uh, yeah, that's that's how it came about. Um, and then obviously we're going to have to develop this by adding the um, the tapers. The, the angle of the uh, blade and etc etc it, it'll it'll um, 
it'll materialize within the next two days. But I just wanted to let you guys know on the blog, um, because we're going to post this video up, and I just wanted to show you guys the stakeholders, um, basically what we're up to and uh, our progress and our thoughts and ideas. Just we just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. Uh, so yeah, um, hope to see you soon, and we'll update you with uh, the design uh, advancement advancements of the. Winter Rambling. Alright, thank you.